and noses on the gate. Top of the stretch. Here they come. There they go, off and pacing in Regal Party Girl, leading them out. Second is Sir Native, Mia Lotta third to the turn, away fourth, Delightful Night, Hurricane EJ at the rail, fifth outside the trailer, and Jula. Arriving at the opening eighth, led by Regal Party Girl and Kenny Arsenal, and the heavy favorite is vacating the two-hole. Jason Hughes will send the newcomer to Charlottetown, Sir Native, to the front as they arrive at that opening quarter. Second is Regal Party Girl, and Zula could be in for a long night. She's caught out third and moving up. Fourth on the rail is Mia Lotta, then around the turn in fifth, Delightful Nights, trailing the field, Hurricane EJ. 29 and 3, the opening quarter. Sir Native is the leader. On the rail, second is Regal Party Girl, and Zula did find a room to drop in third. Mia Lotta fourth, then in fifth, Delightful Nights, trailing the field. Hurricane EJ is six at the midway point. Sir Native is the leader. Regal Party Girl tracking second. Angela into the turn third. 59 and one was the half. Fourth going to the five eighths. That is Mia Lotta. Then in fifth, Delightful Nights. And Hurricane EJ on the outside the trailer. To the three quarters they go next on a two length advantage for Sir Native. Regal Party Girl continuing second with Dan Zula, a racing third. Fourth on the outside is Mia Lotta, then in fifth, Delightful Night. Dropping back six is Hurricane EJ. Three quarters in a one. Twenty-nine and four. Down to an eighth left to go. Clear on the lead. Sir Native turning for home. Racing second, Regal Party Girl. Mia Lotta third. Delightful Night's on a far outside and Zula at the rail. On the wire, Sir Native jogs for Jason Hughes. Then it's Regal Party Girl. We'll need a show photo. Sir Native won. 59 and 1. Well, Sir Native and uh, Jason Hughes, they sat, but they didn't sit long, uh, just a brief time, and then it was uh, off to the point here for this uh, favorite, and this really looked very strong here tonight. You're going to look at her coming through the stretch all alone here. Yeah, we thought the, uh, the times in Ontario, as we mentioned in the pre-race, would transfer over well to PEI. Uh, they certainly sat in the two-hole briefly, was able to get to the front and cut it all out. Uh, and a pretty easy win here tonight uh, for Jason and uh, Sir Native, 29-3, and 59-1, and one, a good rated uh, mile, 129-4, and four, and you can see pretty comfortable here in the stretch. 159 and 1 for Sir Native and Jason Hughes. They kick off a Monday night at Red Shores in Charlottetown. And Jason Hughes, of course, with Red Shores in the Driver Charity Campaign. And uh, we're raising money this year. The checks are going to the PEI Hospice Foundation. And we've already got a thousand plus in the bank with Hughes and Red Shores. Kirk and Carrie Wynn for the Ocean 100 Morning Show. Happy Old Home Week and a warm PEI welcome to everyone involved in the World Trotting Conference and the World Driving Championships. Ocean 100 is thrilled to be the official radio station of PEI's favorite week of the year. Watch for Ocean 100 broadcasting live from the exhibition grounds, covering all the racing action, leading up to the 58th running of the prestigious Gold Cup and Saucer Race. Plus, tune into Ocean 100 every morning for complete race results and everything that's happening at Old Home Week. Sir Native returning from the first bay pacing Philly Sheets 3 by All-American Native from the Western Hanover Dam 
Private Splendor, owned by Robbie Hughes, Eric and Blair McLaughlin, Jason Hughes, training and driving, the mile 159, and a 1-5th. Sir Native in the opener. 